Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine with Annabella's. Welcome to Floss Tube number 20. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, I had a really nice weekend. Um, got to spend some time with my girls. Didn't get to see Andrew, um, but it was still a really, really nice weekend. So I'm glad all of you commented on last week's video and shared with us some of the things you do for Mother's Day and maybe uh, a little bit of what your family traditions are. So we'll go through the floss tube winners for last week in just a little bit. Um, but I just wanted to say that I was able to get some stitching in this week. I actually have a finish and I have a new start. So my finish what is May's Quick Stitch. We um, have Be Humble as our May Quick Stitch. And I told you I had chosen to do Be Strong. So here is my little Be Strong a uh, little teeny pillow that I made with my finish and then this is the back of it so there you go so I have a little finish and I was going to put this um, on my tear tray in my kitchen um, but I have it um, in my office actually sitting right in front of me on my computer um, so I thought this was really cute I just love the little bumblebee look how cute that came out Isn't that cute so anyway I have a finish so I'm, I'm happy about that it's not a big one but it's something and then I started for our stitch along, our Lori Holt stitch along with, um, on Facebook for both a sew along and a stitch along. I started Flea Market Flowers and this is what I have accomplished so far. So there's Flea Market Flowers. And I hope to, you know, I'm gonna do another square here um, tonight, which is uh, this one, this blue square. I'm gonna do this one next. So I hope that by Monday, I'll have this whole section done. So if so, I'll put a picture up in the Facebook group. So if you're not um, part of our Facebook group, please consider joining. It's uh, Lori Holt, so, uh, Stitch and Sew so Along. It's early, I haven't had my coffee. Lori Holt, uh, Stitch and Sew so Along on Facebook. So we'd love to have you. And um, you can share with us your progress on anything that you're working on. It doesn't have to be a recent release, um, but it can be anything that you're working on. So that would be fun. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? I guess we're gonna just jump right in. And, uh, oh, I also started um, a Dimensions a full coverage kit. So when we get to the bottom of this barrel, let me just show you what, what's ahead for you guys. This is the barrel of all the things I need to share with you today. So I gotta try to get this done in a half hour, so we'll see. Um, so when we get to the bottom of that barrel are the cross stitch kits that came in. So I'll go ahead and show you um, the one that I started, the full, full cross stitch kit with Dimensions. Okay, so let's get started with this. Um, this is not a new um, addition. This is a last year's uh, Santa Trio, but I have it back in stock. It was out for quite some time, and we do have the floss pack, which will complete the entire series, all of the Santa Trios. So if you'd like to look uh, in the Etsy, Etsy shop on this, there you go. Aren't they cute? So I think ahead to Christmas and I think about little ornaments I can make. And I guess this little guy gave me um, some ideas about stitching these up and just making them little uh, ornament pillows to hang off the tree uh, or to give as gifts or to put on a present as a little um, addition, you know, instead of a bow. So there you go, there's that. Now this is very exciting. I don't know how many people are getting excited about Christmas yet, but last year this pattern was such a hit and we sold out of it in November before we could even get it uh, to all of our customers and it has been unavailable until today. So we now are very happy to say that we have back in stock Christmas tray. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So yay, Christmas tray is finally back in stock. And I did get the little needle nanny. There you go, the glare's kind of bad, but you can also pick this up. So as you're stitching, you can keep your needle safe and not sit on it like I did the other day. <laughs> um, I worry about my little Yorkies. They sit right on top of me when I stitch. Well, Riley does. Emily doesn't, but Riley sits on top of me. And I'm always afraid that I'm gonna drop a needle and it's gonna stab them. So um, very good, these come in handy. So Christmas tray back in stock. Um, so grab it while you can because I, you know, once it's gone, I sure hope we can get more of it this year, but we'll see. 
And then um, Strawberry Gnomes by uh, Les Petites uh, also came in. Uh, I think I only have one of these left. This one sold really quick, but I ordered some today, so I'll have more on Tuesday. Um, and then later today, uh, once my order goes through, uh, as long as it's in stock, I'll relist these if they sell out. And then today, you'll also see I just put on Etsy um, the Lemon uh, Gnome, which is adorable. So the Lemon Gnome is up, and now you have the Strawberry Gnome as well uh, that's, you know, new. So isn't that cute? What a fun summer stitch that is. Oh, I love those strawberries. That's what I had for breakfast today. Strawberries and blueberries. Okay, let me see what else we have. We have uh, some Blackbird. Oh, my goodness. I have a lot of Blackbird designs. Okay, we've got quite a few Blackbird designs um, that are in the shop now. This is for my friend. This is a booklet. And it has, um, let me see how many patterns are in this. Oh, I don't know. It's beautiful. Oh, I have no idea. But there's a lot of charts in here. And this is um, 44 pages. So great, great book. Lots of patterns. Check it out. It's on the Etsy, on the Etsy, in the Etsy shop. Um, so For My Friend is available. Then we listed Loose Feathers Summer. Um, I listed it the other day. Already sold out. Back, back in stock, back listed uh, this morning. So if you have not grabbed this, it is absolutely beautiful. And again, you know, lots of strawberries this year, I guess. <laughs> so this is back in the shop. Then we have Sweet Land of Liberty. I think I've shown this before. Uh, I just ordered more because we are all pumped up for our patriotic stitching uh, this summer. And um, these keep flying off the shelves. So there's more of these available. You can grab this. And this by Blackbird Designs. Let me see how many pages this is. This is 23 pages. Just look, isn't that pretty? I love that. So many fun things. They are such talented designers. So there you go. Sweet Land of Liberty. And then the Summer Beaming Forth. Very pretty. Love the blues and the golds. Isn't that nice? So Summer Beaming Forth is also um, available in the shop. So that's our Blackbird designs um, that have come in. Let me have my little sip of coffee. Ooh, what's wrong with my tablet? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to slurp. Um, okay, Country Cottage Needleworks. This is a really cute pattern that came in. This is called Joyful Summer. Isn't that pretty? I just love those little birds. So Joyful Summer is available. And I hope everybody has a very joyful summer. So that's available in the shop. And then Madame Chantilly, we just received in a bunch of summer delivery. And this is, you know, this series is really popular, this trade series. We have uh, Celebrate Summer, Celebrate Winter, Celebrate Autumn, uh, Celebrate Spring. So we, we do carry all four in this series. I believe there's others too. So just type in Madame Chantilly Celebrate and it should pop up. But there you go, isn't that great? I love the lighthouse and look at the little goldfish, it's so cute. A little seahorse. I'm a Florida girl, so love everything about this. And yes, it may go into the stash because you never know. You never know. Oh, my tablet just turned off. I gotta turn it back on. This new tablet that I bought, let me just tell you, I'm not really impressed with it right now. So I'll turn it off and turn it back on. Then we got um, in Stony Creek's uh, Summer Bell Pull. This is Stone, uh, Stony Creek Summer Bell Pull number two. Um, I don't have number one. I really wasn't crazy about it, but you might like it. Um, so you can look elsewhere for it. But this is available. Really like these bell pulls. They're so pretty. And we do have another summer bell pull by Tiny Modernist. I didn't pull it to show you, but Tiny Modernist puts out another uh, summer bell pull too. Both of those are available. And this is available in the shop. Okay, then we have a couple things that came in from Shannon Christine. Um, we have Stars and Stripes, which is really pretty, and that's a fun stitch for the 4th of July. And then we have July 4th, and I'm not sure if I showed this last week, so I apologize, but just phenomenal. Look at that. That's just awesome. So this is also available July 4th. And then Sue Hillis, um, we've shown this before. This is her newest release in her series, the Most Wonderful series. So you know that we carry The Most Wonderful Spark, 
which came out, uh, I believe, last month, um, which a lot of you have grabbed and added to your stash. And then I went ahead and just got in uh, three others in the series, which I believe complete the series. This is the most wonderful time of the year. So that's available. The most wonderful feast of the year. My favorite time of year. I love the little pilgrim hat. And we have the most wonderful fright of the year for all you Halloween lovers. Halloween used to be my holiday. Like I really liked Halloween. But that was when my kids were little, and ever since they've all grown up and, and moved out, I'm really not into it. I'm hoping with all these grandbabies, as they get older, um, Halloween will become one of my favorite holidays again. I, don't, I decorate for fall. I don't decorate for Halloween, um, but I definitely decorate for fall. So um, I have a few things left, like a witch that used to scare my kids. I put that out every year still. Uh, scares a dog now, doesn't scare the kids. Um, but I'm a big fall decorator, big time. Um, so not much of a Halloween person. All right, what else do we have? We have some Plum Street sampler items to share with you. Okay, well first let me do um, Poutini Poutini. Okay, When I Think of Summer is available. These are the pillows, the When I Think series. Got a watermelon ice cream cone, and yes, I probably showed it before, but when I get the stock in, um, I like to show it again because it kind of gives you guys a refresh um, that, you know, I saw something, but I can't remember what it was. Um, you can you can grab that. So there you go. Then we have uh, Plum Street. Okay, so let me talk to you a little bit about that. This is a chart that is an. When was this chart made? Did she have the? She doesn't have the. Oh, 2019. So this is a 2019 um, stitch. This is Summer Delivery, which uh, a customer asked me to get into the shop, so I did, and then I bought a bunch more because I thought it really is great for summer. So summer deliveries in the chart in the shop. And then right after I listed that, I got an email from Paulette with not one, not two, not three, not four, but five new releases that are all gonna be shipping to me in the next two weeks. So let me show you these. Um, I only have the, the paper uh, to show you. I don't have the pattern, so I made a copy on the machine. This is Flag Flock. And I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so cute. All right, so this is available for pre-order. Uh, all five of these are available for pre-order. This is Hedge Row. And I'm just loving these little hedgehogs. They are so stinking cute. She's so good. She's such a talented designer. So we love Hedge, Hedge Row. Then we have Flirting, which is really cute. <laughs> and I believe this is number two in her series of this. So... This is flirting. Then we have always remember. Um, and these, of course, are for all the folks that we've lost representing our country and fighting for our country. Um, so if you have a veteran or you've lost someone, um, this is a nice stitch uh, in remembrance of them. So there you go. And then we have the equality sampler which there's a story behind this. So if you go onto the Etsy shop, I believe I posted what Paulette shared with us uh, when she sent us these pre-release notices. So go ahead on and check that out. But that is really pretty. And that is called the Equality Sampler. So you have all of those from Plum Street. And like I said, I think it'll be, you know, within the next two weeks that I'll be getting those. Tiny Modernist came out with a little, uh, little mouse. Let me see what this one's called. I'm gonna turn my page. Um, the little mouse bicycling. Fourth of July bicycling mouse. <laughs> it's so cute. I love her basket, look at that. So you can get that. That ships too in the next week or so. Um, and then we have um, moving on to fabric and quilting. So um, lots of new kits came into the shop. Um, I'm going to show you the cross stitch kits. Well, let me let me dig these out now. Do I want to dig these out now? Oh, you know what? We'll just kind of wing it. 
Okay, so I got in lots of new cross stitch kits that I'm going to share with you. And then we got in, um, I posted a new fabric line. So Moda's coming out with Summer Breeze. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I don't have it to show you, but it's on the Etsy, in the Etsy shop. It is beautiful yellows and royal blues and sky blues. The colors are just stunning. And I'm going to carry the full line of fabric, uh, which you can certainly purchase in, by the yard or by the half yard. Um, we're going to make up the Bella bundles that you all love uh, of the fat quarters. And then we'll also carry all of their uh, pre-cuts. So that'll be your jelly rolls, layer cakes, charm packs, um, and fat quarter bundles. So be sure to check out Summer Breeze. It's really pretty. Um, and then I did put together a new Bella bundle for a Sunday stroll in navy. So this is the navy... Uh, Bella bundle for for summer stroll. So you've got the gingham, you've got the the dots, the florals, and then you have the tonal white. So really cute. Uh, there's six uh, eight uh, fat quarters in here. So lots of lots of options on what you can do with those. Add it to your stash. Um, use it for your patriotic stitching projects um, or whatever you'd like. We also received. Um, Cory Yoder with Coriander Quilts uh, is coming out with a brand new line. It's called Cozy Up. Cozy Up, out of all the lines I looked at for fall, is one of my favorites. So I just put it up yesterday in, on Etsy, so you can check it out there. There are, um, again, we're going to carry, you know, everything, uh, the full line with all the pre-cuts, uh, but the, the um, quilt patterns came in already. So let me show you the patterns that came in, um, in case you're interested. Um, and you can get these now. They're in the shop. This is Pumpkin Festival. And of course, we're going to have these fabrics. Uh, they're just not coming until August. Uh, but we sell out really fast of the pre-orders on fabrics. So don't be afraid to go ahead and purchase it now. Um, if for any reason um, there's a delay, I'll let you know. And if it's a delay that's out of our control, I will certainly be happy to refund you if you change your mind. Uh, but we're expecting shipments to be, you know, right on target uh, with that August ship date. Um, this is leaves. So that's really nice. And then we have Everlasting. So that's real pretty. This is my favorite, of course. This is Roadside Harvest. And we're gonna have, I, I think I ordered four kits. So we're gonna have four of the kits um, that you know that you, you can buy the entire kit and just stitch this up or, or sew this um, and make this quilt. But we'll have the kit, but you can also buy the pattern and then whatever fabrics you'd like. Uh, but this is going to be really popular, Roadside Harvest. Um, and then the last pattern we have in this series is called Acorns. And all five of these charts are available now. So if you're interested, you can check those out. And then I told you about Summer Breeze um, by Moda. This is the little em uh, embroidery kit that accompanies that series. Um, and the embroidery kit is available now in the shop. We have these in stock. It's got everything you need. It's got the hoop, the needle, uh, the fabric pattern, which has been pre-printed, the floss, um, and all of the instructions. And you can certainly uh, stitch this up for summer. Isn't that pretty? So we love that. Okay, and now I'm all the way back to the bottom of the barrel with all of the cross stitch kits that came in. So goodbye to fabric, back to cross stitch. Let me show you some of the fun things that came in. Um, we got in um, the new Mill Hill uh, Giving Snowman. So this is Gift Giving Snowman. And of course, look at the Cardinal. You may have to grab that. So he's available. And then we have Clean Sweep Snowman. Look at this little broom, isn't he cute? I love his little hat. And then we have feathered friends. And he's got two little feathered friends on his little Christmas tree. So these three kits are available in the shop while supplies last. Here is the um, other uh, start I have this week. This is called Festive Ride. And I'm making this as a gift. Um, if my sister's watching, turn away. I'm making this as a gift for my sister this year for Christmas. Uh, she just got a new dog, and that is her dog. I can't believe it. The minute I saw it, I had to grab this. So grabbed it, added it, and I've started. And I, I think I've done, like, 
this much, <laughs> just a tiny little square. It was, it's too embarrassing to even show you. Um, but I am really going to take my time on this because I want it to be perfect um, or as per close to perfect as I can make it for her. So I will be working on this uh, for the next few months. So isn't that nice? So this beautiful kit is available in the shop and all of the kits include everything that you need, including the fabric. And I love that this is on 14 count. I am a happy, happy person. Then Dimensions also released vintage jar ornaments. These are the ornaments. They are so cute. And the wire also is included in the kit. You can see it right here. See the wire? So you have the wire that you can use, you know, to put right there and to hang it um, off the tree. So those four ornaments are included. So you can buy that. These are in no random order, by the way. This is Dog Mom. I'm a dog mom. So if you're a dog mom, isn't this cute? Or a friend is a dog mom? Uh, would have been great for Mother's Day, right? Uh, you can just uh, type in, what am I thinking? Not enough coffee. You can just add uh, the dog's names and it includes the alphabet so that you won't have any problem doing that. So that's that. Then we have Nordic Christmas, which is really pretty. I love this color scheme, isn't that pretty? So we have Nordic Christmas, let me get that. Then we have two stockings. This stocking is Snowman Family. I love it. Look at those snowmen. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at the little guy in the back, the little deer. So that kit is available. And all of these are 14 counts, so that's nice. Let me see, I, I probably spoke too soon because this doesn't look like we're, oh, this is 14 count. Okay, this is stunning. This is called Christmas Tradition. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Isn't that pretty? So let me give you a little closer look. So Christmas tradition, this kit is available. And last but not least on the kits that came in is Birds and Berries, another one of my favorites. I don't want to stitch this, but I want someone to stitch it for me. I don't have any friends locally that cross stitch. Can you believe that? So I don't know, I, I doubt I'm gonna get it, <laughs> but it's stunning. And I am just such a love of those red cardinals. So I don't know, maybe I'll, we'll see how I do on my sister's Christmas stitch. If I do okay on that, then maybe I'll add it to my stash. So let me see what else. This stupid tablet keeps turning off. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take it back. Okay, coming soon. All right, I already told you about that. Floss tube. Okay, so we can talk about our winners last week. Okay, so last week the question was, tell me about what you do for Mother's Day. Do you have a family tradition? Do you have any special plans? Um, and so people piped in and were kind enough to share uh, what their uh, Mother's Day traditions are. And we have a floss tube friend. Um, her name is Patricia Coggy, and I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I believe I am, C-A-U-G-H-E-Y. Patricia is very kind and very sweet, and she has donated uh, two patterns, Glee Market Flowers and Here Comes Summer. Thank you so much, Patricia. We really appreciate that. So this week's winners, and I'm going to pick two, or I have picked two, or the computer did, um, are going to receive one, one the leech get one. So we have Donna Conrad and Mary Keenan. So thank you for participating, ladies. Be sure to send me your email address to info at annabellas.net and you will receive one or the other of these. I don't know which one I'm going to send. You want to say hi to everybody? No. No? You want to just say hi? Hi. Hi, that's Terry, my husband. Oh, what did he bring me? A banana. <laughs> See you later. Um, he's camera shy. Uh, so you will receive one or the other of those. I'll just put your name in, in my little bowl and pick one and whatever you get, you get. But congratulations and thanks for participating. Um, so this week's question is going to be, I, I'm going to go with that decorating theme. So what do you, do you decorate your house seasonally? Um, in my, my past life, cause I've had a lot of different careers. Um, I'm a decorator and a home stager and I owned Forgy Home Staging and Redesign, uh, for many years, uh, and shut it down a couple years ago because, um, just wasn't feeling it anymore, but I love to decorate. And I do tend to stick with um, seasonal themes in my home, um, usually holiday related, but certainly autumn and fall uh, are huge. 
for me. And Christmas is ridiculous. I don't, I don't even want to tell you how crazy I go for Christmas. But tell me what you do. Do you decorate seasonally? And what are you decorating right now? What is your house going to look like uh, during the summer? Uh, share some ideas. Feel free to share a photo if you can. You can do that on our Facebook group. Um, but tell us what you do. Tell us if you like to decorate and, and if you have a certain go-to uh, that you that you stick with whether it's a seasonal or an item or something of that sort so we'd love to hear um, if you'd like to join us and follow us we are on Instagram we hit a thousand followers last week so thank you everybody um, you can find the links below you can join us on Instagram you can follow us on Facebook uh, we've got a couple of different groups that you can check out those are also listed below um, and we would love to have you we have some uh, clubs that are starting and some other fun things that are ahead for all of you this summer we're going to have our first Lori Hole sew along which will be coming up um, and lots of other fun things so I hope all of you have a really really nice week that you get in lots of stitching time and sewing time and paper crafting time and spending time with those that you care about and that you love so thanks for supporting our family owned and operated business it means the world to us and to Terry um, so I really appreciate it have a great week everyone see you soon